All right, what's going on everybody? Brian Martinez, Local Fit, and this is episode two of the Local Shred series. Uh, basically what we're gonna do in this episode, it's gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. We're gonna figure out our macronutrient profile, and that's basically just how many carbs, how many proteins, and how many grams of fat we're gonna be eating throughout the day uh, to put us in enough of a deficit to lose weight properly. All right, so let's jump right into it. First things first, we need to establish a goal. And like any process in the fitness industry, uh, you got to set yourself a goal. You're either going to lose weight, maintain, stay the same weight you are, or gain weight. It, if you're not setting a goal for yourself, uh, then you basically have no plan. You're going into whatever you're doing blind. Um, so it's always good to have a goal just so that we know where we're going and we can uh, ultimately reach that goal more efficiently. So in this particular case, we are going to lose weight. We're getting shredded. All right, so the first step in figuring out how many calories we need is to calculate our basal metabolic rate. Basal meaning at rest. So our BMR is basically how many calories our body needs if we were sedentary all day long. Like if we didn't do anything, if we were just a couch potato, how many calories your body would need just to sustain itself. And I could give you a formula for this, but it, it's really more confusing than it sounds. First, you'd have to, you'd have to take your height, your weight, convert your weight into kilograms. Uh, take your age, figure it all out. Instead, you could just go to a, a website and uh, Google, you know, BMR calculator. I'll even throw a link uh, down below in the description uh, that you can just put in your height, put in your weight, put in your age, and it'll uh, give you your your um, BMR right there, your amount of calories that you need for one day. Okay, so to get our basal metabolic rate, all we have to do is take our height, our weight, and our age, throw into an online calculator. I'm 6'1", 182 pounds, and I'm 25 years old. So after they put that into a formula, I basically get 1,855 calories a day. If I did nothing and I ate that many calories, I would basically just stay the same weight. All right, so the next step is, once we figured out our BMR, we are going to multiply that by an activity level. And there's five different levels. First one, let's call it what it is, you're lazy, you really don't do anything other than get up to go to the bathroom, go to eat, you pretty much watch TV all day, you don't do shit. Uh, but even then you're still going to burn some amount of calories, so we're going to multiply that by 1.2. Number two, lightly active. Now this is typically somebody who uh, works out maybe once a week or has a, a desk job, doesn't really get on their feet too much. Uh, you're going to multiply that number by 1.375. Number three, this is the average person. Uh, you could say that they work out, you know, two to three times a week, have a job where they're not too active, um, but, you know, they still actually get some exercise. 1.55. And number four, active. This person works out four or five, six times a week uh, or has a job that's, you know, somewhat physically demanding. I don't know if they're like a mailman or you're on your feet all day or you're working with customers all day. You're going to multiply your BMR by 1.725. And if you're really freaking active, like if you're an athlete or, or something, you're going to do 1.9. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go with active. And this is where you really don't want to mess up. If you're, all right, if you're lazy, don't make yourself lightly active because that's basically going to give you more calories than you're actually burning and you're going to be working backwards. So this is where you're going to need to swallow your pride a little, a little bit and you're really going to need to be realistic with yourself. I could try to say I'm very active. I might be very active, but for this case, we're gonna go active. We're gonna be realistic, and we're gonna multiply our basal metabolic rate by 1.725. Okay, so now what we have here, we have our basal metabolic rate, our amount of calories that we need at rest, multiplied by our activity level, and that's gonna give me 3,250 calories. So this is basically the amount of calories that I need given the amount of activity that I'm going throughout the day uh, just to maintain my weight. So being at this level of activity, if I ate this many calories, I would just maintain. I wouldn't lose weight. I wouldn't gain weight. I would just stay the same. Now, what we do after that is because uh, in the first step, we establish our goal and our goal is to lose weight. So what we have to do is we have to put ourselves in a caloric deficit. That means we're burning more calories than we are taking in. And at this point, we're trying to do this pretty slow. And by slow, I mean about a pound of body fat per week. And a pound of body fat is equal to 3,500 calories. If we want to get rid of one pound per week, we have to divide that by seven 
and that gives us 500 calories a day. If we lose 500 calories a day, we will lose one pound in one week. So what we do is subtract 500 calories from our total caloric intake, and that's going to give us 2,750 calories. So if I wanted to lose a pound of body fat per week, I need to eat 2,750 calories. All right, so now that we figured out how, much, how many calories we need to lose weight, we're gonna divide that up evenly into our macronutrients. So for protein, we know that protein per gram has four calories. Fat is more than twice as calorically dense than carbs and protein at nine calories. And for every gram of carbohydrate, also the same as protein, four calories. Okay, so based on that, we are going to uh, determine how much protein, how much fat, and how much carbohydrate we need. Now, this is where these particular macronutrients are up for debate. Some people like very high protein, some people like uh, moderate protein, high fat, high carbohydrate. They vary from person to person, and they also vary depending on your goals. Uh, but for my particular goals, I'm going to go protein at 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. Some people like to go one gram, some people like to go as high as 1.5 grams. But I found the most optimal in a cut would be to be 1.2 grams per pound body weight. Fat, uh, we are, this is also open to debate. Some people like to go higher fat, low carb. But in this instance, I'm gonna keep my fat pretty moderate because I like uh, fat, I like peanut butter, I like avocado, I like essential fats, olive oils, things like that. I think they keep you really healthy and they're important for, uh, for hormone uh, purposes, testosterone, uh, synthesis and just keep you keep your pretty balanced you don't want to drop your carbs or your fats too low so we're gonna make fat 0.4 grams per pound of body weight so that's gonna give us for protein 215 grams per day for fat that's gonna give us 70 grams per day. In carbohydrates, it's going to be the rest of the calories. So if we times 215 by 4 grams per pound and 70 by uh, 9, that's going to give us a little bit less than our total calories. And we're going to fill our rest of our calories with carbohydrates. So that's basically going to leave us with 1,260 calories of carbohydrates. And now every gram of carbohydrates is 4 calories, so we divide that by 4, and that's going to give us 315 grams of carbohydrates. So that's our macronutrient profile. Every single day, I'm gonna try and hit 250 grams of uh, protein, 70 grams of fat, and 315 grams of carbohydrates. And these are gonna stay relatively the same, but as we progress in our diet, as we move closer and closer to our goal, our carbohydrates are going to drop. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Um, so we figured out how many calories we need. We figured out that we need 250 grams of protein a day, 70 grams of fat a day, and 315 grams of carbohydrates a day. Now, every single day, we're going to try and get as close as possible to these numbers uh, within about 10 grams for all of these. If you can get close to, to 10 grams within these, uh, you're, you're in pretty good shape. Where you really want to pay the most attention to is your carbohydrates because we're going to be... Uh, fluctuating our carbohydrates and dropping them as we go for the first week we really want to basically get our body used to taking in this many calories and these this amount of macronutrients uh, carbs especially and by doing this by making our carbs uh, pretty accurate every single day for this week we're basically going to minimize our water weight fluctuation how much water retention we have uh, for our morning weigh-ins so get these pretty close to exact um, if you know you go over by 10 if you go under by 10, that's fine But we're basically for this first week. We're gonna try and get uh, Just an overall understanding of where we're at as far as these macronutrients and our weight fluctuation If we're gaining weight, obviously, we know we're gonna have to drop our calories a little bit uh, if we're losing weight, which most of us will uh, Then we know we're fine and then into week two. We're gonna drop our carbohydrates. 
So this is where we're at for week one. We're gonna stay at 2,750 grams of carbohydrates and I'm gonna weigh myself every single day and we're gonna see where we're at as far as weight fluctuation. And then based on that, week two, we can uh, start playing with our macronutrients and then we can further progress this cut. So that's basically it, guys. It's that simple. I know it's not easy. It's a lot of math. It's a lot to comprehend. Uh, but once you get this down, it, it really becomes second nature. Uh, so this is basically our first step into getting shredded. Um, follow these steps. Just plug in your numbers. Uh, affiliate this to your type of goal, to your body type, uh, to your activity level. And, you know, you shouldn't have a problem. Anyways, Brian Martinez, Local Fit. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, we'll check in with you guys in the next video. Thanks.